Listen, can we talk? Rory! Snow, shut up. I just got a question, that's all. You okay up there? Yeah, fine, no problem. What are you doing? Helping the doctor? Um, it's humming. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. We're just entering conceptual space. Imagine a banana or anything curved. Actually, don't, because it's not curved or like a banana. Forget the banana. Uh, is he helping you fly the TARDIS? Um, attach thermocouplings 2, 7 and 11. Like I showed you. How come he gets to go? You never let me have a go. Uh, Doctor, don't. Seriously, I let her drive my car once. Yeah, to the end of the road. Yeah, where, according to Amy, there was an unexpected house. Oh, he's jealous because I passed my test first time. You cheated. You wore a skirt. I didn't wear a skirt. Yeah, well, that would have worked too. No, no, I did wear a skirt, but it was any old skirt. You ever seen Amy drive, Doctor? No! Neither did her driving examiner. Actually, it was this one. It was this skirt. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, how did you do that? I told you, don't drop them. I specifically meant you're not dropping. It, it was my fault. Of course it wasn't your fault. It kind, kind of was her fault. How could it be her fault? Because it was my skirt and my husband and your glass floor. Oh, Rory. Sorry. Well, we've landed. It's emergency materialization. It should be fine. Should have locked off the safe space available. Available, the TARDIS has materialized inside itself. Is that supposed to happen? Take a guess. No. That's the one. Well, what are you doing? I have absolutely no idea. Uh, okay, that is a bit weird. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Oh, glad you're entertained. Now that we're stuck here for all eternity, at least you won't be bored. Wait, what, we're stuck? The inside of the TARDIS is now joined to the outside of the TARDIS, worse than a time loop, a space loop. Nothing can enter or leave this ship ever again. OK, kids, this is where it gets complicated. Who the hell are you? I'm you, from your future. Tell me exactly what's happened. Well, the exterior shell of the TARDIS has drifted forwards in time. If you step into the box now, you step inside the control room a tiny bit into the past. I don't understand. Neither do I. But you just said it. No, I'm just repeating it. I'm just remembering what I heard myself saying when I was standing where you are now and repeating it. I'm just repeating this too. And this. And this. Uh, I still don't understand. You still don't. OK, when does this Amy step inside the box? We need to maintain the timeline. Ah, as soon as she slapped Rory. OK. <laughs> no. Why do I get slapped? Because we have to stick to the established chain of events. One mistake and the whole timeline could collapse. We'll end up with two Amy Ponds forever. And then what would you do? <laughs> OK, you. Into the police box now. Well, uh, and then I become her. Yes, go, go, go. Do I really look like that? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Mm, I'd give you a driving licence. Mm, I bet you would. Oh. This is how it all ends. Pond flirting with herself, true love at last. Oh, sorry, Rory. Absolutely no problem at all. Now, Amy! What's the first line? OK, kids, this is where it gets complicated. Gotcha. So, is that it? Are you OK now? No, we're still sort of trapped. What are you doing? You told us to get to the police box. Well, from your point of view, you're about to tell us to get into the police box. From our point of view, you just told us to get into the police box, which is why we got in the police box, which is why we're here. Do I have to remember all of that? Yeah, it just sort of happens. Hi. Hi. Hey, stop that. You two, in the police box now. Run. So, what now? You two, stay where you are. What are you doing? I'm setting up a controlled temporal implosion. It's the only way to reset the TARDIS. But unless I find exactly the right lever to control the implosion, we're all going to die. You don't know which lever. No. But I'm about to find out. The Wibbly lever! The Wibbly lever! Thank you! Back 
like a normal flight. The TARDIS is no longer inside itself. The localised time field is no longer about to implode and rip a hole in all causality. But just in case, Bond put some trousers on.